For an AFL footballer, match day is a heady mix of nerves, excitement and anticipation. Sam Jacobs also carries the big man's burden of giving his midfielders first touch of the ball. So how does Sam cope on game day? We tagged along for a close-up look. It's, uh, it's nine o'clock in the morning here. Just starting to get ready for my game, so I'm just uh, I'm a cereal man in the morning, so just getting a bit of cereal ready, uh, and also a Gatorade to start my hydration. So I don't like to eat too much before a game, as I, uh, I like to feel light going into a game. But um, yeah, so not nice light meal to get me started. I like to get up early in the morning and, and have my cereal and. Uh, it's good during the early part of the season because the basketball's on, so I always get up here, get the basketball going nice and early and, and, uh, and settle in and watch, watch some basketball. In the morning of the games, uh, I like to just go over what we spoke about during the week just to make sure I'm, the, I'm uh, refreshed with, with all the knowledge for the game, so um, we're able to get it all on the iPad um, now so we can take it home and go over everything we need to. So there's a lot of good information on here and um, you know you should it's pretty much no excuse nowadays to not know what the opposition are doing. And, it's about 11 o'clock and we're getting uh, got to get ready for the game. So I'm one that likes to be really organised and make sure that I've got everything um, ready to go. Socks, I always take two pairs of socks just in case, um, you know, being a ruckman I get a lot of sprigs and all that sort of stuff. So I'll take two pairs just in case one gets ripped. Um, and, then, uh, and then I got my boots. So also take um, two pairs of boots. I wear ASICs this year. Um, uh, purely for the reason that, um, you know, there's not too many size 15s around. About two hours, 20 minutes before the game, and we're heading into Adelaide Oval now. But now I guess I'm starting to think about um, my preparation when I get to the ground and, and what I need to do and things like that. So um, you start to get a bit excited as, as the game is starting to get a bit closer. So it's a perfect day for footy and a good day for big fellas, let's hope so anyway. So now we're in, uh, in undercover. Um, all the boys are starting to arrive now. And, uh, now we're about to do the stroll to the change room, so the excitement starts to build a bit now. And I like to get to the game um, pretty early. I, I'm one that doesn't like to be rushed or anything like that, and I like to get there with plenty of time just to, to get there and just have a chat with the boys, I guess, and, and relax with them. So I'm, I'm big on getting out and, and grabbing a footy and, and going out to the middle. And um, even though it's Adelaide Oval, and I've done it plenty of times, I just like to go out there and get a feel for the conditions. Uh, obviously, it was a great result today. We were able to get the win, and um, you know it was really great to, especially in uh, Brent Riley's game. First of all, we come in, we sang the song, which is great. It's one of the best feelings in footy, and it's you know these days it's probably what you play footy for. Um, straight away when you come in, it's probably the best time <clears throat> as a footballer to enjoy your wins. Um, but also in saying that, you get straight on the bike and, and straight into recovery. So. Um, nothing lasts long, it comes around quick and, uh, and now we're about to get into the ice bars. So you see a lot of boys walking around pretty sore with ice packs on, but um, it's all in, all in um, preparation to get ready for next week. It's a good feeling driving home um, after a win, but um, we didn't probably play the way we wanted to, but um, we got the result in the end, which was, which was good. So um, it was nice to, nice to play all right today, but um, a, bit sore and, a bit sore and sorry, but looking forward to relaxing tonight. And, might go out for tea or something like that, it'd be a pretty, uh, pretty quiet night though. The name Shane Tongri would be unfamiliar to most young Crows fans. The Indigenous player from Central Districts was pick 18 in the 1994 pre-season draft. He debuted later that year against Brisbane, kicking three goals and signalling a bright future. We look back on that performance thanks to our long-time major sponsor, Toyota, who have been with the club since day one. And at one stage was their leading goal kicker this afternoon. Going for the banana kick here from the boundary line. Missed with one in the first quarter. Yeah, I was very nervous to start with. That was one of those uh, questions, one of those things that uh, uh, you have when you uh, play footy, you uh, get nervous. Let's have a look at this kick, executed to perfection. Very tight angle, that's how you do it. It was one of the uh, best things that I remember playing AFL footy, uh, standing uh, alongside uh, childhood heroes and watching these guys play as NFL footy, then play AFL. So yeah, it's, it, was a, it was a game that uh, certainly remember. Chris McDermott was uh, one of the role models. Uh, had uh, Tony McGuinness as vice captain. 
Uh, Tony Modra standing up alongside him, uh, watching him take a massive hanger was uh, amazing. So yeah. It's a loose ball. Oh, look at Tongari with pace on the left foot, bends it back. Well, the AFL footy was definitely quicker. Uh, I was quite lucky. I actually got to play the Aboriginal All Stars up in Darwin against Collingwood. So uh, to see the step up to AFL made uh, yeah, much a difference. Yeah. Now it's great to see uh, y young uh, Aboriginal players uh, come through the ranks. Uh, you're certainly uh, advised to keep watching uh, watching this space. Six twenty points once again. The difference. Yes, he doesn't lack confidence, a boy either. Shane Tongari from Central Districts. Hope you're enjoying the show. Coming up. Fans have their say on an issue that divides them.